Welcome back. It's time for today's comedian. He comes from Boston, Massachusetts. Please welcome Rich Gustis. Hey, thanks everybody. Good to be here. I am tired. I ain't right for my day job. You know, I um, shoplift. It was a good day. A shirt and a cane. So it was a good day. I need the cane though, you know, because I, um, I have a hard time balancing my um, checkbook. <laughs> People come looking for money. I'm like, you get your money when you get it. <laughs> no, no I, actually, I actually have MS, which is really scary when I found out. I didn't know what it was. I thought the doctor was telling me I had Ms. <laughs> this is a disease named after a CIA-funded feminist magazine, and I got it? <laughs> this can't be good. What is that, burning bras and the equal pay? I'm already not shaving my legs. This is progressing much faster than I thought. <laughs> and then the doctor said, no, 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 MS, multiple sclerosis. Your white blood cells are eating away the myelin sheathing on the nerves in your brain. Really? Woo, thank God. <laughs> Don't scare me like that talk. It's a degenerative disease, which I also didn't understand. I mean, hey, I've done stuff in my life I'm not proud of. <laughs> I never thought of myself as a degenerate. <laughs> thought maybe at the worst I'd go blind and grow hair in my palms. I have no idea. I'm, kind of, I'm actually doing pretty good. It's been 10 years. My only real bad symptom, my right hand shakes a lot. So guys, you do not want to be at the urinal next to me. <laughs> it's, it's like standing next to an oscillating sprinkler. <laughs> So I'm trying to handle my health issues by going all natural. Yeah, I lost 50 pounds this year. Yeah, I did it by switching to all organic. Makes it really easy to lose weight because you can only afford to eat twice a week. <laughs> so a lot of things. So MS, I'm supposed to eat a lot of oily fish, which is perfect time, I guess. All the fish is oily now, right? <laughs> so I get that worked out. I was married for nine years to a woman named Muffin. <laughs> and then I developed a gluten intolerance, and that was the end of that. <laughs> you know, she was nine years older than me, you know? She was going through the change, you know? From thinking she made a mistake to knowing she made a mistake. <laughs> I hate this weather. All this snow, isn't this horrible? This, that was my uh, least favorite thing as a kid shoveling. The worst thing was the way my mother used to wake me up when it would snow. Like seven in the morning, she's pounding on my bedroom door. Will you get up and help your father shovel the driveway before he has a heart attack? Whoa. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> 40 years of marriage, three meals a day. She serves the guy nothing but lard covered pork products. <laughs> but I'm going to take the blame for heart attack. <laughs> I'm just happy that never happened. I would have been all guilt ridden. I ended up dedicating the rest of my life to providing discount landscaping to the elderly. <laughs> Well, my freshly widowed mother would have taken the insurance money, moved to Key West, shacked up with, me, with my new stepdad, Felipe, the 18-year-old cabana boy. <laughs> That's the plot of an after-school special I'm working on, entitled, Shut Up, Felipe, You're Not My Real Father. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. everybody, Rich Gustis. We'll be right back with him right after this. Yeah.